Hey, my name is Marco. I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor. Today we're going to be listening to Shada Ishvalda's theme from Monster Hunter World Iceborne. No idea what's going on here. This was a Patreon suggestion. I'm diving right in. Let's check it out. Do you hear? So, ba, ba, do. that's like classic, like Hollywood horror movie sound. Clash, 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 and then ba 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 ba, and then this weird, weird soundscape. What is that? This like legit, legit scary. Right, uh, whoa, what did I just stop at? Okay, the way that we have this structured out here, boom, bra, boom, bra. First of all, there's a heft. Boom, 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 boom. There's a weight to this. And then on top of that, creepy music underneath that's a little creepy crawly, like it's like spiders crawling on your skin. No, there aren't any crawling on my skin. But you hear how there's a bit of that, mm, just like the, the hair on the back of your neck kind of stands up. You get goosebumps on your on your hand. You, you feel like something's staring at you that wants to consume you, which which is all these monsters, of course. But, but there is this edge of like real fear in this music. Doesn't it like sound like almost like it's looking at you and it wants to like, I don't know, there's there's like some like sort of like <sighs> insanity in the subconsciousness of the monster. There's something about Shara Ishvalda that's it's almost like like something's not quite right, right? Well, like all creatures have some sort of like rules of engagement, right? And Shara Ishvalda is like <sighs> Like that, 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 so well, what instrument is that? You know, like that's, that's the vibe I get. Again here, rum, bum, bum, bum. That sound has a real heft to it. It's coupled as well with like a piano in, in the middle range of the piano, which is a bit warm. And I think that the piano symbolizes us as hunters while then we shift into this phase which is is all about like there's this weird brutality in a deformed sort of way Oh, that's a fun way to play with that motive. Isn't that nay of the stars are at our backs? Yeah. And so so the way that that's that is that the main melody of Monster Hunter I, Monster Hunter World. I can't remember right now while I'm filming this, but there's this real edge of like but underneath there's all this stuff happening around it that's creating this feeling of distress and discomfort where yes, the hunter is fighting this foe, but this foe's like seething, you know what I mean? In that too, like on 
underneath you have the xylophone marimba whatever the the percussion is it's unholy it's 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 demonic right there's almost this quality of i don't know that's like ripping and tearing and feasting and 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 uh, it makes me feel like like facing down a demon you know In a way, rum, bum, 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 bum. right, that's again, those are big stomping, big hitting. We have those in a lot of these themes. But then listen to the instrument. That actually feels almost like it's Shadeshvalda's voice, right? And and that's the thing. There's a lunacy. There's a uh, there's a feeling of, uh, of something not quite right, of this sort of like diabolical, it's not cunning. It's it's almost like, eh, it's like a, a, like a, a bloodlust, a rage. Um, and, and what's interesting is that then we have the trumpet that goes I don't play by any rules. It's almost like there's like a, a Joker Batman dynamic here, which is sort of interesting. And that's a fun little phrase too. You get that little, like, you know, that half note step. It's like being something thrown at you. Or even just like a big swing. And that right there, boom, 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 in the piano, that that repeating uh, rhythmic pattern, that is distress. That's that's forward momentum. Every time we have rhythm, obviously it's forward momentum. But there is that. There's a real feeling of uh, of discomfort, of unrest, of fear, of terror that's coming over, especially in the middle the middle notes of the piano, which are very warm. It's not in the lower section, which would be evil or terrible, or in the upper section, which is more about hope and and love and stuff. It's right in the middle, which is a very warm sound on the piano. Boom, it's alarming and it, there's a real feeling of fear in there. That's such a sexy transition, by the way. Yes, I did call it sexy because it goes bum 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 ba. It's like ah, I get knocked back, and then I'm back up into the fight when we have our our hunter theme. And then Shadrish Father comes right back. Ah, I'm gonna feast on your skin. You know what I mean? <laughs> and there's something improvisatory about that. Which is like, uh, there's a mania about it, you know? I don't, I don't really know which way I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go this way. You can't calculate what the moves, there's no move set, right?
And that's phase one, phase two really quickly. So phase two is obviously like a berserk mode, right? You hear how we still have the aspects of phase one, but now it's like, yeah, it has emerged. It has released itself. And I'm also looking at a picture with it of it's like, oh, sh are those wings? But there's no like webbing. Now there's this feeling of like something really, there's like a holy aspect to this, right? Right, there's something metaphysical or transcendent about Shara Ishvalda. There's still that like terror, but it's almost like a, like awe. Yeah, and again, this is that back and forth that we often hear where we have the hunter's theme, even though it's colored by the Shara Ishvalda instrumentation. And then we have this back and forth where now we've had this real disturbing, almost sung, is that singing? There's a sung quality in here. I think it's singing. And it's like, and it's just this like, you think you can beat me? Unrelenting force of, of mania mixed in with the swings and the heroics of the hunter uh, gaining ground on Schadenfreude that that creates this back and forth. It's it's I mean it's masterful honestly. It's it's crazy. <laughs>
Yeah, and you hear the rage in Schauspieler. Ooh, that might be one of the more frightening ones. I mean, I've heard some frightening ones so far, but that one is like brutally kind of scary, terrifying. There's such an incredible feeling of mania and terror that that emerges out from this music that like cuts you right in the core of your like soul because it's like, like oh. You know, which is different. It's different. It's fascinating. There's a lot more Monster Hunt on this channel if you want to check it out. Feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. There's links in the about section if you want to support the channel. And as always, thanks a ton. Wow, that's really sitting with me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.